Welcome to the Elecro Classroom. Today we will learn about the application of buttons. First, create a new project. Modify the name and select Save Path. Rename the page to Button. Click Configure Device at Tools bar to set up the Start page. Select Page Button as Startup Screen. Select the background image of the button page. In the first section, we gonna learn the button switch function. Add button control. Next set the properties of the button. Select image down, which is image displayed when button is pressed. Click cut. Only the cropped part needs to be displayed. Select the control usage of the button and set it to switch mode. State select not pressed and style is transient. The same settings apply to the other five buttons, only the style is different. Finally, set the next page button. The next page button needs to jump to a new page, set a new page. Set control usage to change screen. Create a new page and rename it as Button Logic. Next page button's target, select page button logic. Click run to see the effect. Click each button to see the different effects. Set show focus to know in the button's property settings to hide the dotted frame. Next, let's learn the button logic function. Select logic button background. Similarly, add button controls. Set the basic property of the start and stop buttons. Select both of these two buttons and click Switch Mutex at Edit Menu to set them as mutually exclusive buttons. Set the following four buttons as Switch. Set the Open All button. Control Usage and Style are both switch. In Internal Instructions section, click the three dots at Data Press Up Row to open the Instruction Assistant. In the Instruction Assistant interface, select Button in the left navigation bar. 
Click up at Set Button Status section and select the control IDs corresponding to buttons 1, 2 and 3 respectively. The corresponding instructions will be generated automatically. Copy the instructions and paste them to instruction list. Similarly, click the three dots at Data Press Down row to open the Instruction Assistant. Click down at Set Button Status section and select the control IDs corresponding to buttons 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Copy the corresponding instructions and paste them to instruction list. Run the test effect. There you go. Now we have learned how to realize the functions of mutual exclusion of switches and multi-buttons control. Now let's set the properties for back and next button. Set control usage as change screen and select the target page. Create a new page named Multistate as the next page. Next, we will introduce the function of using a button and an icon to realize the function of a multi-state button. After selecting the background, add an icon control. Add a button control above the icon control. Set the basic properties of the button. Click the three dots at Data Press Down row to open the Instruction Assistant. In the Command Instruction Assistant interface, select Icon in the left navigation bar. At Icon Control section, select the corresponding screen ID and control ID, click Next. Then copy the instruction and paste it to Instruction List. Run the test effect. Set the properties for back and next button. Set control usage as change screen and select the target page. Create a new page named Button Disable as the next page. Next, we will introduce the prohibition and enablement of the command control button. After adding the enabling background for page button disable, add five button controls. Set the properties of button control one, two, and three. Set button one and two as switch. Set button control 3 as switch, state, choose pressed, style, select delay and long press delay as 5 second. Set the internal instructions. Click the three dots at Data Press Up row to open the Instruction Helper. Select Enable Disable Control in the left navigation bar. 
Change the control ID and click disable, copy and paste the instructions to instruction list. Similarly, set the data press down. Change the control ID and click enable, copy and paste the instructions to instruction list. Run the test effect. Press and hold the enable button for 5 seconds, and the buttons 1 and 2 are disabled. Clicking the buttons 1 and 2 has no response. Press and hold again for 5 seconds to release the disabled button. Set the properties for back and next button. Set control usage as change screen and select the target page. Create a new page named custom as the next page. Next, we will introduce the function of the button to send custom commands. Add two button controls on custom page. Set the control usage of Upload Data button as Upload Data. At External Instruction section, fill 5500 in Data Press Up Row and 5501 in Data Press Down Row. Set the properties for back button. Set control usage as change screen and select the target page. All the functional tests of the button are displayed, let's test it.
Okay, that's all for this lesson. See you next time.